Colleagues, dear friends, the pandemic is continuing to have tremendous impacts on employment across the globe. The ILO's latest estimates show that at a global level, labour market recovery from the pandemic has stalled in 2021. The number of hours worked in the world remains significantly below its pre-pandemic level by a margin of the equivalent of 125 million full-time jobs, and it's now flatlining. And the damage has been unequal. Employment has declined more for women, youth, and medium and low-skilled workers, with major differences also across sectors. Prospects for labour market recovery remain uneven and uncertain in the face of supply chain disruptions, energy price spikes, inflation worries, and debt distress. And the COVID-19 crisis has been a dramatic setback to sustainable development for a world which was already badly off track in its pursuit of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. There is a great divergence between the recovery paths of higher and of lower income countries. And this is linked closely to the availability of financial resources for fiscal stimulus and to the availability of vaccines. This is not building back better. We are leaving many countries and millions of people behind. Colleagues, as good a measure as any of our success in building back better will be the extent to which our policies contribute and contribute better than before to realising the UN 2030 agenda. A recovery that returns us to a pre-pandemic trajectory would be clearly insufficient. We need global solutions to the global challenges we face, and we need to include working people in that response. For its part, the ILO adopted in June a global call to action for a human-centred recovery, proposing a series of measures that invest in people, their skills, their health, their social protection, and that leaves no one behind. And at the UN General Assembly this year, the Secretary General launched a global accelerator for jobs and social protection that is designed to do just this. It aims to channel national and international public and private financial flows to social protection floors, the creation of decent jobs, and the process of a just transition to carbon neutrality, the importance of which we understand all too clearly as we emerge from COP26. Your strong support for this UN Global Accelerator would help all countries to realise these objectives. All of this to foster a recovery that is inclusive, sustainable and resilient, very much in line with the objectives of the Global Progressive Forum.